the Bahamas continues the painful process of rebuilding the death toll from Hurricane Dorian now sitting at at least seven. Two of the dozens wounded and taken to hospital now dying of their injuries. The wicked storm finally moving away, but aerial footage here showing areas that have been left in ruins. Dorian made landfall multiple times when it was a Category 5. It then stalled for days, inundating streets, destroying thousands of homes and buildings. For more, I'm joined by Tim Tibbetts, who is a Canadian Bahamian chef and owner of the Flying Fish Gastro Bar on Grand Bahama Island. Uh, Tim, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. Where are you right now, and are you safe? Yeah, no, I'm. I'm in a probably one of the the nice, the best places to be right now. Um, we're on the farthest point south of the island on the south shore, um, so. We're also highly elevated, so we didn't have any of the storm surge, any of the flooding. We're the farthest point away you could be from that north side flooding. Talking about how safe you are now, there are a number of families that have gathered at your home and uh, family that you've taken in as well to ensure that they are safe. Can you talk about that? Yeah, we have. Uh, we're actually in a house that, that's owned by uh, an American couple, and everyone else in the building is Canadian. There's, so there's, uh, there's 14 of us here right now. We've been here since before the storm. What, what is it like there? I, I know uh, you, uh, we've talked to some locals as well who are just trying to help out. This is kind of the point where you're trying to find people who need the assistance. What is the feel like? What are the efforts like there? Yeah, I think the hardest part right now is communication. So there, there, there are two um, cell phone providers here, and one of them has been completely dormant since the beginning of the storm. So only half of the people are connected. So we're still trying to figure out where people are. Uh, we've had in a lot of people... Um, have been rescued in the last 24 hours, which is fantastic, but we still know a lot of people who are still trapped in their roofs now, um, but the water's starting to recede, so they're not in as much danger as they would have been 24 hours ago. Tim, we're looking at some of the aerial footage right now, and uh, it's absolutely devastating to see. Uh, can you talk about the rebuild efforts in the community and, and then everyone coming together? Yeah, I mean, our hardest thing right now is that, um, you know, the airport was under uh, seven feet of water, so we don't have an active runway, so there's no way to get anything in by air. So we're just trying to figure out what's going to happen with the harbor. Um, when we can bring things in by boat, that, that definitely eases because we can get a lot more things in that way. Uh, but there's also the roads are all covered in water, so we can't move anything from the harbor by trucks. So once the water recedes, we'll have a lot better effort. But it's this, this first five days after the storm is always the scariest mm -hmm. because people are desperate. They're in, they're in dire need. There's a lot of injuries. There's a lot of people who are actually, you know, mortally injured or, or have already passed away. And, you know, we have a, a good friend. Um, he's a crab fisherman here, so I know him well. And he, you might have seen the stories already that are, that are on CNN and things. Um, he watched his wife drown in front of him before he had a chance to swim. So it's, this is happening and it's real and um, it's only going to get worse from here. We have no medical. We, our hospital was underwater. We have, uh, there's, there's nothing. We literally have nothing left. Tim, this is horrible to see. Of course, we're thinking of you. And uh, if you want to help out with the efforts, uh, we, we know Global Medic coming out of Etobicoke is sending supplies. They are leaving this morning. The Red Cross, Canadian Red Cross, you can also donate there. Uh, please stay in touch, Tim. Uh, we send our love to you and to all the families that are there. Thank you very much. We appreciate it.